welcome to your Pilates studio. This is a little session for you desk workers who are looking to stretch and open and mobilise across the shoulder area. So we're going to be sat at the chair. You want to be a little bit forward on the chair so that you can get a really nice alignment through the body. Feet and knees are going to be hip distance apart. And we're going to think about a piece of string coming from our bottom up through the spine, pulling us up towards the ceiling. So we're going to lift the rib cage away from the hips. We're going to lengthen that crown of the head upwards, all right? So you feel like you're sitting up on those sit bones. You're not slouching back. So lifting up. And then you want to just a soft arch through the lower back. You don't want to be pushing the bottom out behind. And like I say, you don't want to be tucking the tailbone under. So somewhere in between those two extreme positions, we'll have a nice soft arch. So that's what we're going to try and maintain as we do this, because it's going to help support the shoulders moving as best they can. So sitting in that position, we're going to start by taking the hands onto the shoulders and we're going to lift them up and circle them around. So like I say, as you do this, think about that piece of string coming out the top of the head, pulling you upwards. Ideally, you want to be sat at your desk like this. All right. So I know it's tricky at home because everything's changed and there's really often quite difficult to find space to work properly. But if you can, try and find a space where you can set your desk up to sit in this position so that you're supporting the spine as best you can, your alignment is good, and therefore all the movement through the joints is much more effective. So keeping this going. Nice big breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth. Now we're going to see if we can add a little bit of rotation. So we're going to take one elbow up. We're going to twist towards it as it goes behind and back. So in this position, your hips are anchored, stuck to the seats. So all that rotation is coming from this upper back area. It's called your thoracic spine. And that can get quite stiff when we're sat at a desk all day because we get stuck in that position of staring at the screen. So we want to try and add a little bit of movement. So you can make these movements bigger if you want to. We're reaching those elbows. We're going to do a couple more. Stretch. Remember, length through the spine as you do this. See if you can start to connect those lower abdominals as well. So just gently pulling them in. If it's a 10 notch belt that we're wearing in those lower, around those lower abdominals, you want to aim for the third notch. And that'll help you to support your back in this lengthened position as well. Coming back to the center. We're going to keep that length as we take the elbows up to shoulder height. And then you're going to take them in front. Try and get them to touch and then you're going to open them out wide. Now the back staying nice and still, so from the side we look like this, we're reaching forwards, trying to touch the elbows, and then taking them out and wide. So what you don't want to do is flex the spine and then arch it, all right? Everything's staying still through the spine. This is the shoulders we're trying to stretch. So tapping forwards and then reaching behind. Good, we're going to do four more. Four. And three, and two, one. Now we're going to extend the arms and make that bigger. We're going to now start to stretch the upper back. So again from the side, you're going to start to just curl the upper back. So we're not moving the lower back. And then as you open, you're opening the chest. So we're getting a bigger movement through the back and shoulders but it's not going to include the lower back. So you don't want to be doing this with the lower back. All right, lower back still, upper back is moving and stretching. Reaching forwards and then opening out. So let's use the breath. And inhale. Good. Exhale. And inhale. Let's do two more. And inhale, really reach the arms wide and then reach them in front on that out breath. Opening wide, relaxing the arms down, just roll out the shoulders. Keep that length in the spine, we're going to take the arms all the way up. Take the hands behind the head and interlace the fingers. Now we're going to push those elbows out wide. And we're going to lengthen the crown of the head up again towards the ceiling. Take the in, um, on the in breath, take the shoulders up. And on the out breath, slide the shoulders down, lift the crown of the head up. And again, inhale. And then exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Leave the 
the shoulders down, leave the crown of the head reaching up as you take the arms up and sweep them round. We're going to do that again. Big breath in. Interlace the fingers. And again, inhale. Elbows are pushing out wide. Crown of the head is reaching up. And stay engaged through those lower abs. Leave the shoulders down this time. We're staying here. We can do a little side bend. So we're going to reach one elbow up towards the ceiling. And then come back. Shoulders down, elbows wide, remember. Crown of the head reaching. So we get that length through the spine. We're going to exhale. Inhale, return. And again. And back. One more time to each side. And release, last time. And release, shoulders down, elbows wide. Take the hands up, sweep them out and round, roll the shoulders. We're just gonna do one more to get that neck and upper back connected and working again. So we've mobilized it all. Take a big breath in. Now we're gonna strengthen it, interlace the fingers. Hands go behind the head. I've got my thumbs down my neck so I can feel that connection in my neck and upper back. Shoulders down, elbows wide. You're going to gently press your head back into your hands. All right, so you're still reaching the crown of the head up. You're still engaging through those lower abs. You're just putting a little bit of pressure back into those hands. And hopefully you should feel under your thumbs that connection going down your neck into the upper back. You're going to try and hold that for five, four, three, two, one. Release the head. Settle the shoulders down, push the elbows wide. We can do that again. Press the head back into the hands. Keep the breath coming. Hold that pressure. Feel that connection down the back. For five, four, three, two, one. Release the head, leave the shoulders down, reach up and open one last stretch and then we're going to do a little bit of mobility through the whole spine so we're going to take the arms behind you interlace the fingers press them down towards the floor again try not to let the pump tummy flare out keep that connection so that the spine is long reaching the hands down you might want to stand up to do this if you're seated it's a little bit easier i've got space but if you haven't just stand if you wish to make it deeper, take the hands a little bit further away from you. Nice big breaths. Take the hands back towards your bottom. Release the fingers, roll the shoulders. We're going to take the feet a little bit wider now. Hands come between the legs. We're going to roll down. So from the sharp side, I'll show you. We're going to nod the chin, roll the shoulders and curl towards the floor. So we're stretching the back all the way down allow the body to sink forwards head towards the floor now before you come back up you're going to pull in those lower abdominals and you're going to slowly rebuild the spine so slowly coming all the way back up roll the shoulders at the top place the head back on top so you're back into that lovely length and spine position we do that one more time nod the chin roll the shoulders curl down so now releasing everything all the way down the spine, all the way to the floor, inhaling there, drawing in those lower abs before you start to rebuild all the way back up. Rebuilding the spine, rolling the shoulders back and down. Leave that openness across the chest, leave that length through the spine. Go back to your perfect sitting position. And don't worry if you can't maintain it, you know, if you move and shift and forget about it, just the next time you remember, maybe put an alarm on your phone, bring yourself back to this alignment, lengthen up through the spine, engage the lower abdominals and maintain it as long as you can. And what you'll find is by doing that regularly, you'll gradually make this more of a, um, a normal position to maintain and hopefully increase that work through the, the, the core to help you maintain that. All right, good luck and let me know how you get on.